Ah, uh, April, the allergies month for some, but the month of good indie game releases for everyone. Hi folks, it's Excel, and I'm here to show you where you can spend a few or a lot of pennies in good indie titles. Spiritfall is a fast-paced action roguelike with combat inspired by platform fighters. This title combines tight platform fight combat, nimble movement and roguelike mechanics. Road 96 Mile Zero is a prequel to Road 96, a narrative adventure game that I actually reviewed here in the channel. You can play as Zoe, which comes from the rich side of the city, and her father works for the government, and Kaito, a character from Lost in Harmony that lives in the less privileged area. They're good friends, but that could all change quite soon. Meet Your Maker is a post-apocalyptic first-person building and raiding game where every level is designed by players. You can play as solo raider or embrace what other players have built with a friend in a co-op mode. All is quiet until the chaos erupts. An invisible arsenal lurching to life, eviscerating any who covet their oozing horde. Wild World is a mining roguelite with tower defense elements in which the premise is exploring procedural generated mines with different biomes in search for resources and technologies for purchasing valuable upgrades. Curse of the Sea Rats is a retroidvania, as the developers like to call it, with hand-drawn animations, in which the player can pick one of four British Empire prisoners turned into rats by an evil entity. I actually backed this project on Kickstarter, and I really can't wait to play the full version. These are the rats I told you about. Enough! From the producers of Curse of the Dead Gods comes Ravenwatch, a roguelike adventure that promises to bring intense real-time combat with a deep gameplay and high replay value. This title sees a group of fallen heroes of old folk tales and legends in a verge of a crucial battle against nightmare invading the world. And fight hordes of enemies to level up. Each hero has multiple abilities at their disposal. First is the Set in a world beautiful crafted in pixel art, Hunt the Night promises to bring a super engaging gameplay in a dark fantasy atmosphere and lore, where a virtuous member of the Stalkers is tasked with exploring the vast world of Madron to find clues to destroy the forces of darkness that affects humanity. Also, did you know that 94% of you aren't subscribed? Hit that subscribe button, come hang out and let's reach that 1k subscribers goal. Beyond the Long Night kinda reminds me of Noita. The premise is simple, explore an whimsical underground world to uncover the secrets of a kingdom caught in a time loop, while being chased by a mysterious corrupting force. Are you a fan of RPG turn-based tactical genre? Well, Sharp Punk Verminfall might be right up your alley then. You, as the player, are able to put together a crew of survivors and use a range of steampunk weapons and bots to scavenge for resources, saving as many people and pieces of equipment as possible and reach the safety of Fusion Core operated bunkers. Remember Lemmings? Well, Moons of Darcelon is a retro-action, save-them-all platformer title that puts up a set of missions that challenges the player to lead all the colleagues to the closest space station. All of this while fighting enemies using a laser gun and a jetpack. Crave destruction? Destroy the terrain you just created! Hate aliens? The only good alien is a dead alien. I found out about this project during the 505 Games Showcase last year and since then I've been following the project on socials. 
Treyblade is an action adventure with intense combat where the player enters in an armor of an adventurer in order to explore and restore the balance of ancient valley of Acria, an area torn by war. And then I took my first step onto a Korean ground. <laughs> Enhanced by its pixel art graphics, Quidventory lets the player set foot in an action RPG experience different from the usual. Since the only thing between you and dead is your mouse, in a reactive combat system where every move is made with your cursor. Quick reaction is the key to not get cut into pieces. Adventurer's good name, through countless battles you shall prevail. Shed blood. Boil up the rage, embrace death, sundry shifting faces. And Roots of Pasha is a farming sim set in a prehistoric atmosphere. Nothing better than build and, and grow a village that hopefully brush. will stand for generations in an adventure that lets the player gather ideas, domesticate crops and befriend animals. Cassette Beats is a vibrant pixel graphic title full of awesome beats. Adventure yourself in New Wiro, a remote island inhabited by strange creatures. Instead of Pokeballs or cards, the idea is to record every single monster to your trusty cassette tapes to gain their abilities. And capture new monster forms onto blank tapes with your cassette player. And lastly, if the going gets tough, combine your hearts and fight as one. After Image is a thrilling side-scroller Metroidvania adventure set in a beautiful hand-drawn and guarding world. The objective is to explore the fascinating world, discover a concealed history and the truth of the world in the most diverse biomes, such as a gigantic volcanoes, steep canyons, deep seas and a tower that soared into the clouds. Love me some Lovecraft atmosphere. I was lucky enough to stumble into the last case of Benedict Fox and his demo during the next fests and I can't wait for the full release. This rogue venue experience lets the player descend into a limbo of decaying memories as the protagonist, Benedict Fox, a self-proclaimed detective bound to his demon companion, and his search of clues while uncovering the mysteries of a massive, decrypt mansion, the site of a young couple's grisly murder, and the disappearance of their child. That's him. My father. I can guide you through his memories. Ash of Gods, The Way, is a deck-building story-driven experience. You play as Finn, a young man whose only hope of preventing a neighboring nation from attacking his home is to master the card game they use to teach aristocrats the art of warfare, The Way. Keep in mind that your decisions here have consequences. Bramble, the Mountain King is a grim adventure set in a world inspired by dark Nordic fables. In this title, you will take the role of Oli, a young boy setting off to rescue his sister, kidnapped by a dreaded troll. But she was nowhere to be found. 